interesting. Um, it is kind of busy, so if I just automatically get off or like just get off, um, this table is really cute. Just know that it just got too busy and I just couldn't film in here, but um, I'm at a thrift store, so I thought I would take you guys with me. This table is really, really cute. It's already been painted. The top looks perfect. It's all wood, but that's really cute. My mom was looking for a table. I'm wondering. <laughs> kind of it's a good size too so these old wood boxes um, this is a cranberry box I've never seen a cranberry box uh, these are the kinds of boxes I'm talking about when you find them at thrift stores thrift stores and things they're great for storage and they look good I would even stain this one probably just to make it a deeper color um, but it's got like the old nails and stuff in it so I love finding things like that that okay hang on one second they're doing some training here it looks like too this would be a without not the lamp but it's kind of like a always look for lamp bases because I mean, if that matched your style, that would be a pretty vase. This lamp base, really cool too. This would be really cool to rub and buff and then use it as a candlestick holder. This is like a half a lamp. See, <laughs> this is a perfect like architectural piece-ish. It's kind of got a good patina to it as it is, but you could just take this apart and then just use this as a decoration. This looks... That looks old. These are, oh, look at this one. Oh my gosh, that's cool. I would take it off that wood base. Look at the, <laughs> it's got like a little spout here. Oh my gosh, it's supposed to be like a, oh, now I see what it is. That would be cute on its own as well. That's different. Okay, I'm going to try and go slow so I don't make you guys dizzy. There's nothing else really over here. Oh, look at this piece of driftwood. Oh, I even love the wood stand. So I don't love the lamp, right? But this piece of driftwood would be really pretty just as it is. And this wood base, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is perfect for like a cloche. Look at this big, deep... You could put a glass thing, you know what I mean, over it. It's massive. I didn't grab a cart. I have a little basket with me, but oh my gosh. I'm trying to see how the lamp. I think we could get that. I just, I love that maze. So. I just saw somebody that I know and I'm like, I'm filming. She knows exactly what I'm doing. So she's like, <laughs> all right. Okay, let's see what else. Always look here for vintage Santa mugs. I'm not kidding, you will find them. And especially now when people aren't really looking for them, um, it's the time to like look for things like that. Doesn't it just kind of look bare? Um, yeah, this looks really bare. If you see something I don't, <laughs> let me know because um, I can go back to it or whatever. So. These are the kinds of bags that I always say are hanging on end caps, and I always look through them. I love wood spools. Um, these don't have all wood spools, but you just never know what they're gonna cram into a bag. So um, I have found really good things in these bags. So always look in them. 
And I'm not looking for toys or anything, but I always glance here because moms are, you know, um, are always dropping things off. Just like, you know, if they're there with their kids. Drumsticks are really cute at the holidays. You could paint them. Um, but anyway, so I always look here just in case somebody said something somewhere <laughs> because they do. Gosh, I feel like it's so bare in here. This is really bare for us. I feel like it hasn't been like this in a while. This is a section. Now, if you saw my reel today on Instagram, um, it will be on Facebook at some point, but this is a section where I will find ironstone, but the ironstone platter I just found, it was over by the lamps. Um, so, but I always, this is the section where I always look for ironstone or vintage dishes, that kind of stuff. And they do have a lot of new carts over there. Um, but they're doing a lot of training, it looks like, for new employees. So um, there's, like, managers and stuff over there. So I won't go over there with you guys. But always check that out if they have new carts, you know, waiting to come out. Because obviously that is stuff that has not seen, been on the shelves. People haven't really gone through. Um, there's a lot of this stuff today. Like this, these pieces. I saw it over in the other area, too. Somebody must have, like got rid of that like like this hammered um oh my gosh I'm losing my words but you know what I mean <laughs> somebody got rid of a big collection of that oh, oh my gosh I just love old frames like this and then you can tell the print is old I just love this. I'm gonna set my basket down here. Okay. Well, he's kind of cool. <clears throat> the enamelware teapot oh see look at this so you find these this is new from like i don't know if it's got a thing on it target you know not target but you know like a tj maxx or online you find this stuff all the time at thrift stores so always check for these oh my gosh are you kidding me There's a pair of them. So this is a good example. The people that are putting stuff out, they don't always put it, you know, like together or whatever. I would love to take these two off here and go put them together where the actual, you know, pictures and stuff are. But, and if you're at a thrift store, do that. I have said that before. If you see pairs of things or like a teapot and that there's a teacups that go with it, um, put them together because that person who's going to love that set will appreciate it. Those are cool. Okay, I've been here, right? seeing anything too exciting. I mean, I still have a little bit to go here yet, but have you guys seen anything that's, I mean, they have how many cards up there? I 
think three or four carts that they're putting out right now. So maybe there's something in there, but. I'm gonna see. <laughs> you organize stores all the time when you shop. That's super nice. Uh, it's just, yeah, because they don't, um, it's just nice for that next person, like I said, that's gonna buy that thing that you. There's a guy in with the dishes. I wanna look there, but I'm going to wait till he's done. He's taking a while in there. Okay, this is kind of the last little area. Easter area. These homemade? No. They kind of looked homemade. Oh my gosh, there's like nothing here. Nothing here. Whoops. but you will find this kind of stuff all the time. Target, Threshold, Hearth and Hand. Um, this looks like a, it was like a Valentine base filler. That's cute. I'd probably put some different flowers in it for spring. said before inside this frame section always look behind because they're just putting things in front so always look behind um, because you just never know what you'll find and the smaller things will get lost behind the bigger things I'm going to, let's see if I can do this without anybody. Okay, so up here, there is a section up here in our thrift stores. They, they look different in every thrift store, but this is where they kind of mark up some things. And not necessarily like they're always high price, but I have found some things in here that weren't super high price. It's just things that maybe they don't want the kids to get to or play, to, play with. But always look in these cases because not all the time are they, you know, marked up. What is this box? But wait a minute. <laughs> okay, here it's happening. Is that stuff that's already been paid for? What is happening? I want to know what that box is. What is this? Somebody had to have bought this. Oh, somebody painted it orange. Somebody paid for it, <laughs> but somebody painted it orange, so that's okay. All right, I'm gonna hop off now. I'm gonna go through here. Um, these are all new things they haven't brought out. But so far, I'm not, wait a minute. I'm going to check this out. Um, let me know what you saw that I didn't share or that I didn't see. Let me know if you saw anything you would have picked up. Um, but yeah, sorry for the whispering, but I try to be quiet. There's other shoppers here, so okay, I'll check in with you guys later.